Hi there, very warm welcome to Hack and Ons and guys in this video tutorial we will see how to push the data in our Django model and guys we will push the data here with the help of two methods one is python django shell it's one of the most powerful and then the one of the best and it's my favorite django admin and so now let's see first with the python shell then we will see a easier way with django admin so guys now up to this what we have done is i will brief you we are having a site so this is our site in which we are having our courses and guys for this courses we are having a table or a model on which we can table structure or model on which we can push the data so first of all we will put the data and see how we can put it so for putting the data what you can do is here we will use a python shell and guys this python shell is one of the powerful because it's having all the functionalities of python as well as it is having the features of django also so now what we need to do is for doing this shell you have to type python manage.py and then she double okay, this is the command which will give you to a python shell and uh, now we are on the python shell so now we, what we need to do is here first of all we need to import our model from the courses so for that we need to type from uh, courses so here yeah, i am typing the app name and um, dot uh, models and then here we will import our model name uh, import course course so now we have imported our model and after that here you can see that whether how much courses data in our uh, model is so for that but you can use the command courses dot, uh, dot object dot all so now we will see c o u r course dot o b j o b j is object dot all sorry uh, yeah so guys now you can see here we are getting error and we can resolve it because we are doing course object or its object so i think uh, so now you can see here we get a empty query set means it's a query and which is empty there is nothing no data here so we will push the data so for pushing the data there are many methods i will tell you two to three methods two to three types in python django shell methods are two one is by django admin and other python shell and in python shell there are two two or three uh, types so first of all we will see what we can do is here we can assign a uh, variable to our course and uh, c o u r s e course so after that uh, we can directly put the data like uh, here first of all i will open the models.py so that it will be easier to check the names yeah so here we can uh, directly assign the data like title equal to here we can assign the date suppose here we will use python basics uh, basics and uh, Parallel mistake, yeah. And after that, we can put the data like see the description. I think description is there. Uh, description. I think spelling mistake is right here. Yeah. So learn the basics uh, here. So uh, we have put it this data. And uh, now we can use c dot save for saving the data in our model. So that's it. Now if we type previously command for checking whether data is there or not. So now you can see here we are having a query set course course object. It means we are having a data in our model. So this is the first way that why we can put a data in our model with the help of Python shell. But I will show you a quite easy way then. So for other ways is so what you can do is here you can directly type c o u r s e course in the function you can directly define the data and for that what you can do is like title uh, equal suppose here our title is having is or then you can type django and then here you can type description uh, and the description i can types like learn django okay and uh, that's it now we can directly put the save function here so this is the way by which we can wait i am getting error so guys here sorry i hate mistakes but uh, so here i am getting error because here i haven't put the comma here and be sure you should aware about comma so now you can see our data has been put it and guys as i uh, do again this command so guys as we put it this command you can see our data has been again put it in our uh, database 
so guys this is the way to now we will see a way three i think it's the best you can use any of them that will be better for you you can use cous dot objects and then create and guys this will create a object and that will push the data and you can directly use title equal suppose here i will type uh, python sorry i can type i python and uh, then here we can description describe it and description and here in the description so now guys we are again for forgetting about comma i put it and here we can describe learn basics uh, basics of i python yeah so now we have put it data and guys the better thing here is he, here you need, don't need to use the save function which means it will uh, decrease the number of text that you have to type and guys as you put it then you will directly see this uh, again um, that means you don't need to use this command course object or it will directly show you the output that the data has been put in our query set so that's it now if we again type I have to type this command again uh, course object so now you can see our four data has been put here four times as four times we have put it data sorry three times uh, or three ways so guys that's it we have seen how to put the data in our models using python shell and guys this is one of the haptic haptic thing because uh, i think it's a cram breaking some cram breaking because you have to type so much of things and it's a python and it's a django so i think there should be some simple simpler thing and that's a django admin and we will see in next tutorial so that's it bye bye have a nice day and meet you later